Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make basic ice text. So I got this idea when I was watching the reboot of Dexter and the title sequence is all ice and whatnot, but we're gonna do a little bit more basic version of that. We won't be adding blood or anything, but this could be used for pretty much anything. So go ahead and open up Cinema 4D and the first thing you're gonna do is add a text spline. Then I just repositioned the view so I could see it head on. Now add the first letter of your word or phrase and then choose your font and we're only going to do one letter at a time and then duplicate our process because when you add the material Material to the entire word it looks like trash but when you do it on every individual letter it looks really good and I know there's probably an easier way to do that and I don't know it so if you know it please let me know down in the comments it would be greatly appreciated and a huge help all right now add an extrusion and then make the text a child of the extrusion by clicking and dragging it into the extrusion I then lowered the offset on the extrusion to make it not as thick create a new material by double clicking down below and then add it to the letter now click on that material and turn off the reflection and turn on the transparency now inside of transparency go to the refraction preset hit the drop down arrow and then find the one that says water ice now go to the color and add an ice texture I just found mine on Google by Googling ice texture and then I took two different images offline now you're gonna hit the drop down arrow on the texture and then you're going to add a layer and then double click on the image of your texture now after that select shader and choose noise and then double click on the picture of noise I then changed the global scale to something a little bit higher I went with 246 percent I then changed color two to a deeper blue all right then go ahead and hit that back arrow in the top right hand corner and now now you're going to change the mode from normal to overlay on that noise and then lower down that slider to the right so it's not as prominently blue and noisy. Now click on image and bring in your second ice texture. I decided to go with one that wasn't as clear and had more fractal ice inside of it. Now again, change that one to overlay from normal and then lower down that slider again so it's not as intense. Now click to the beginning of color and change the mix mode to multiply. Now we're gonna add a light, so I went and added an area light and repositioned it and made it big enough to point at the entire word and fill it up. I went back to the material real quick to add some vibrance in the transparency section because if I didn't and the transparency was set to 100%, you couldn't see it in the render. If you want your material to look even better, while you're editing it, go down to viewport and then change the preview size to a file that's a little bit bigger. Once you're done with that, go ahead and change the intensity of the light to match your desired look. Now click and hold down the extrusion and then hold command and then drag up and that will duplicate your extrusion. And now on the new extrusion, you can change the letter to the next letter that's in the word and then just reposition it. And then we're going to repeat that process for the entire text. Now, before we render, let's take a quick look at our render settings. I've got mine set to 1920 by 1080. So that's full HD and 24 frames a second. Though in this case, the frames per second doesn't really matter because I'm just doing a transparent layer just as a photo and not a video. But if you're rendering a video, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's set to render all frames and not just the current frame. I then changed the depth to 16 bit and then the file type to PNG. And then I click the box that says alpha channel because I want it to be a transparent layer. If you have a background or something else that you want in there and you don't mind that it's not transparent, then you don't need to hit that alpha channel. I then click on any aliasing and I choose best and then two by two for the min level and four by four for the max level. And then you're good to render and you've got yourself some icy text. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.